Hi kids. Okay, I am freshly beat from filming a self tape. So you guys are in for a treat. So what are we doing today? We're gonna react to some of my old TikTok videos. If you've been around for a minute, then you know I got my start on TikTok a few years back. Early pandemic through the pandemic type times. And so I was going through my TikTok page trying to figure out which videos I was gonna use for this video. And looking back at my old TikToks, that window, that window back there, almost jumped out of it. It was awful. I hated every second of going through my old TikTok videos, especially pandemic TikToks. <laughs> oh, how far we've come. I got them here oh, on my trusty iPad. Let's do this. When I tell you this man is so fine, when I tell you this man is scrump dilly -ishes. He made me wanna, oh God. So this is definitely my most viral video. And every now and again, it still circulates and still does well when other people like repost and stuff like that. I'm boy crazy. I've always been boy crazy. This video wasn't even about a man that was that fine. It was about whatever random boy I was obsessed with at the time. Funny little one-liners like that were pretty much like my entire content at the time. So this video had been sitting in my notes for a while. Did not expect it to do as well as it did. He was my 18th crush of the week. Nothing's changed. <laughs> That's just gonna have to wait a while. Ain't got time for messing around. And it's not my style. This whole town can slow you down. People taking the easy way. But I know exactly. to ever go really really viral this is before the pandemic this is 2019 babe this is before the pandemic babe went viral a lot of places it was viral on tiktok it was everywhere on instagram i was like oh my gosh guys please but of course anytime you post yourself singing everybody's a vocal coach out of nowhere lord have mercy she ain't singing with the accent okay but i thought i ate i had that little yellow dress y'all i had the little white cami going on uh, oh I thought Broadway was gonna be knocking down my door after I posted this video. But I'm so cute! I'm so cutesy! I love that for myself. Next! Everyone has that one girl or guy in their life that is the sole reason why they don't believe in love anymore. I'm saying that this person screwed you up so much that any chance you thought you had of being happy with a significant other in the future is destroyed. So, how would one go about the occasion of seeing them again? How would one prepare? God forbid you look the same way you did the last time they saw you. Oh, which was nothing. Sorry. Ah! Literally looking through that closet. I can throw up. I can throw up. That's a lot of denim. That's a lot of red. That's a lot of flannel. Ah! Oh my gosh. This picture. Ah! I'm roughly about three hours into getting ready and have changed my outfit about seven times. Of course, 95% of me just wants to stay home, oh. but no. How could I miss this marvelous opportunity to show him what a bad bitch I've become, even if I do look like the wildebeest that killed Mufasa? <sighs> Nevertheless, no matter how good I look, I know that I will somehow still manage to trip over every word I say when I speak to him and look like a dumbass. Do y'all remember Rabbit It Scavern, bruh? You had to... You had to be there. You had to be, to get that reference just then, you had to be there, bruh. Well, until next time, XOXO, dumb bitch. Okay, one, all that work just to put on the 2019 Thanksgiving outfit was crazy. Anyways, this is also pre-pandemic Mona, pre-pandemic, because I was on that app early, girl. This was also the video that got like a lot of my favorite creators at the time to follow me. Like this is, this is when Brittany Broski followed me. She is my favorite white woman on the internet. Real talk, real talk. She's so funny to me, but I remember she followed me after this video. And I was like, girl, I can't, stop! Are we best friends now? Can we be, can we be best friends? Can we, please, please? This video was happening in real time. Ooh, we all so nervous to see that man. Didn't even end up seeing him, y'all. Also, that man did not care if I live or died. 
The only thing I hate more than watching a scary movie is watching a scary movie that my friends told me beforehand isn't even that scary. And pause. I want to preface that hair length, not intentional. Your girl had a mental breakdown at school and cut 20 inch Brazilian bundles because a boy made her upset. Y'all know how the white girls be cutting their bangs every time they get screwed over the situation ship. Me, I had 20 inch bundles and was walking around with a Willy Wonka bob. A Willy Wonka bob. And then I watched the movie and it's scary as shit. And I'm looking at them like, are you dumb or are you stupid? So the movie we watched was called Gerald's Game. I'm not gonna spoil it for those who haven't seen it, but there's this creature human type thing called the Moonlight Man. Bruh, scared the living hell out of me. So we finished the movie and I literally have to go sleep in my friend's room because I'm scared to sleep in my room by myself. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my friend saying, we gotta stop calling this nigga the Moonlight Man. We gonna start calling him Travis can't be scared of a nigga named Travis. I kid you not. From 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. I was staring at the wall waiting for Travis. I would hear a little sound and be like, stop playing with me, Travis. I may be the 5, 4, 3, and 2, but I am not the mother effing one, sir. Let me tell you something about this right hand, Travis. You don't want it. You don't want it, good sir. You don't want it. However, I'm still high-key scared and have been awake for 48 hours. The only thing I Why did I film that video like a millennial? The humor is very millennial. The, the the beats are very millennial to me. Lord have mercy. Definitely scared the shit out of me though. Gerald's game, don't play. Probably to this day could not watch that again. Like that actually scared the shit out of me. I had been up for about 48 hours in this video. A, because I was trying to get some assignments done and B, couldn't sleep because that movie scared the living hell out of me. I don't do horror movies, y'all. I don't do horror movies because I am scared. I will get scared. Back when I was living in Atlanta, if I had watched a horror movie and all of a sudden I had to sleep in my apartment by myself, I would go to my mom's house. I can't do that now. I'm in New York. No horror movies. Moving on. What did sweet Veruca say? Daddy, yes. buy me North Korea. Uh, when Veruca says, buy. it's like a battle cry. And when Veruca says, Mine. well, I jelly for a spine. And if Veruca said, Please. I know it. <sighs> I thought movie producers was finna see this video, y'all. And I was finna be the lead of a next blockbuster film. Are you kidding me? Do you One more time. What did sweet Veruca say? Daddy, yes. buy me North Korea. Uh, Do y'all see that acting? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was, I was supposed to be famous for real, for real after this video broke. This video was like at the top. When you, when you used to click the sound, this is also during my context phase. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. A lot of black girls, some of us, go through a relaxer phase, a straight hair phase, and some of us go through a contact phase. I happen to be going through both at the same time. Let me live. It's canon. It's a canon event. Please. Please. Moving on. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how happy are you as a couple? Eight. Wait. Ten being perfectly happy and one being totally miserable, or...? Just respond instinctively. Okay. Ready? Ready. Eight. Eight. How often do you have sex? I don't understand the question. Yeah, I'm lost. Is this a one to ten thing? But because, like, is one um, very little or is one nothing because... You know, te technically speaking, the zero would be nothing. How about this week? Including the weekend? Sure. Describe how you first met. Uh, it, was, uh, it was in Colombia. Pogota. Five years ago. Six. Right, five or six years ago. I have never seen Mr. and Mrs. Smith the day of my life. What y'all know about POVs? What y'all know about OG TikTok day POVs? I'm not even getting into the American Lauren videos right now. But if you know, you know. If you know, you know. And you would do it too for a check. Anyways, Isaiah, I'm on your ass. Let me tell you something. If I was duetting Isaiah's POV, 
know that shit was finna be a masterpiece and you were gonna be invested. Are you kidding me? Did y'all see that? Your fave could never. Your fave could never. Unfortunately. Fortunately, you don't compete where you don't compare, babe. You don't. That was an Oscar award winning performance. I don't care. I don't care if that's cringy right now. We ate that down. <sighs> Moving on. Nah, girl, but then the hair designer came up to me and then she asked me if I had another wig like the one I'm wearing to wear for the show. Who gonna tell her? They made you sing I'm here from the color purple too? Girl, that's exactly what I said. Ain't this Hello Dolly. Girl, I said the same thing. Psh, look at the new color types they gave me. See, I knew they was gonna pull some mess like this. That's why I brought my own. Well, of course, Miss Dolly. <laughs> nah, sis, but then they moved me to alto because they said my sound was too urban to carry the melody line. Little did they know I'm gonna be loud as hell regardless. And then this man looked at me dead in my eye and said that I didn't say the line sassy enough. As if the audience is gonna forget I'm black because I said it the way I said it before. They ain't gonna forget. Uh, I miss doing theater kid content. Well, like, if you follow me from back in the day, like, you know I'm a theater kid. I've been doing this forever. That used to be my thing, like, back in the day when I first started TikTok. Like, theater content was, like, what I posted. I remember, like, Alex Newell had posted it on their story, and I was just like, bruh. <laughs> Famous. Where's the Tony? Where's where's my Tony? I want I'm gonna get them to post some more theater kid content because this was fun. Again, this was also during the context phase, guys. Please. I don't even want to hear about it in the comments. I will cry, please. It was a phase. It was a phase. We're out of it now, okay? Okay. Damn. Baby, If you was following me and you heard, baby, admit it, give me a yup and duck. You knew what time of the month it was. Like, you knew what time of the month it was. What's Mona got going on? Do she got a man yet? What's her favorite musical right now? And shit, like, ah! Mac and Mabel, love that show. A song that I sing often from Mac and Mabel is, Time, time heals everything, Tuesday, Thursday. Time heals everything. April, August. I love that song. Love that song. Time heals everything. And then Pippin. I love Pippin. I was really in my Pippin bag. That's because I was auditioning for this show and I swore, damn, they was going to cast me as leading player. They did not. <laughs> they did not. All right. Um, moving on. like light-skinned men like that. I don't. The song about Marcus. Yeah! I just moved to Manhattan. I know he just moved to Brooklyn, baby. What's good? Marcus, what's good, baby? You are my baby. Started when we were younger. You were mine. Please, please hit my line. Please. I don't care if I'm late to the trend. I already spent $17 on the freaking wand and it just came in today, okay? Damn it. So you guys are getting the trend. Here you go. I want everyone to picture the thing they fear the very most and turn it into something funny. Next. Rob. Smell like my great aunt Tessie. Smell like my great aunt Tessie. Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. Okay, sorry. Um, ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's class. Ridiculous. Very good. <sighs> Quiet, please. Shut it. Nice. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. Why did the house not shut up? Sorry. You know, George, I've always felt our pictures lay outside the world of academic achievement. Fred. Exactly the same thing. I, don't. I used to love these type of videos where people used to dress up like characters and like be multiple outfits. Okay, we get it. Mona can't dress herself. I just really learned how to start dressing myself and even looking at this. Girl, what you got on, babes? Some of them kind of ate down, but not really. The trend was so late at this point. The wand took forever to come in. Y'all was gonna see my outfits, bro. A daily reminder that you were the baddest bitch on the block. Not on my block, though, but on your block, for sure. 
This is an audio that did go very viral. Usually y'all, when I had this set up, I used to come in, I used to set my phone up, have like a, a list of TikToks I was gonna film. That wasn't even what I had written on my script at the time. It just kind of came out cause you know, I'm just naturally that charismatic and funny and cool or whatever. Smooth talking, so rocking. Yeah, he's got everything that a girl wants. Okay, I don't know what type of crack meth I was on when I made that video. Justice for my man Joe Jonas. Justice for my man Joe Jonas. I don't know even why I was tripping. I don't even know why I was tripping. He fine. Joe Jonas fine. I've evolved. I'm, I've, I've grown. I've grown now, okay? I get it. My bad. My bad. My bad. Respect on Kevin too, sis! Respect! Respect on all them Jonases! Respect on all of them! Okay. <laughs> I get it. Some questionable choices were made. At eight years old, you cannot tell me that Corbin Blue was not going to be my husband. It was Corbin Blue, Jaden Smith, and Rock Royal from Mindless Behavior. Them three, I was bagging one of them. I did a series of these type of videos, and they went really viral on Twitter. But no one tagged me, so no one knew it was me. And that kind of sucked. But, oh my gosh! It was cringier watching my old videos that were not as viral than it was for me to watch these old videos that kind of were a little... Oh! I'm still on TikTok and I still post there occasionally. I'm proud of myself. I am so vastly different than I was when I first started making videos on the internet in the best way possible. Even though some of them are cringy and they're hard to sit through, I don't care because they were all a part of my journey. They were all a part of my growth. Those videos saved my mama's house. Those videos are getting my brother and sister through college. Those videos have me living in my dream apartment here in New York. No regrets. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. This was actually really fun. Please like and subscribe and I'll see y'all when I see y'all. I can't be making too many commitments. I'm trying to get a YouTube schedule together. I keep saying see y'all next week. We don't know that. We don't know that for sure. <laughs> but I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye.